Um, it's, you know, it's it's, it's kind of crazy, you know, just because, you know, I was watching the draft when my boy Terry got drafted and I was so excited and happy for him, you know, and, you know, we always talked about it, you know, being teammates in the NFL, but, you know, that's like, that's like far-fetched, you know, you just never know what can happen. You know, an opportunity presented itself, you know, my boy Terry being in Washington, you know, I was excited. I'm like, hold on, wait. I got the opportunity to play with him, you know, thousand yards, a phenomenal player, a great athlete. Um, and, you know, just being able to, you know, link back up and be able to uh, uh, play with each other, you know, it's amazing. You know, it's a great feeling for me. Thanks, Curtis. Welcome to Washington, man. Thank you. Hey, Curtis, we're going to blame that first one on Scott. He has to do everything in more than one take. So it's cool. Um, <laughs> I'm from NBC4, Heather, Heather McDonough. Um, you know, you touched on it there. I mean, it's almost like a perfect fit. You know, we, we haven't seen anything on the field yet, obviously, but you have Coach Rivera and Scott, you know, all your Carolina ties. You have Terry and the Ohio State ties. I mean, when you sit back for like a second, it hasn't been long, and you think like how this really made sense, like how much sense did it make for you and how – great does that familiarity with all these different people uh make you feel as you enter a you know a tenure with a um it definitely made a lot of sense you know it just it, it seemed like the perfect situation uh situation you know just just the way things unfold and you know pretty much in my life it just seemed like this was like kind of meant to happen you know i'm fortunate and, and glad to be in this position in my life you know where i could play football and you know something i always love and enjoy to do um you know, my, my, my goal is just to bring, a, you know, the extra spark to this offense. You know, I like to be dynamic. Uh, I like to make plays with the ball in my hands. And, um, you know, just being alongside Terry and a lot of those other guys, you know, I feel like this is a perfect fit and situation for me. And you played this team just a few months ago with Carolina. I mean, um, you know, what did you see from, from Washington on the field? And I'm sure you were following R Coach Rivera and Terry from, from afar. But, um, you know, just to think back, what, what were your takeaways um, as you, I believe, had a pretty good, good game that day uh, oh definitely a great team um a lot of great coaches um great players on the team and you know uh, you know just being able to add an extra piece you know always helps offenses you know it's never too much offensive weapons it's never too much weapons on defense whatever the case may be but um you know uh coming to Washington you know being an extra piece for them you know to uh, make plays on the field you know I'm excited and uh, um I'm ready for the journey thank you thank you Hey there, Charlotte McBride from WSA9. Welcome to Washington. Um, we know what you bring to this team on the field, but this week we've been getting to know some of your new teammates. We learned Ryan Fitzpatrick has seven kids. Um, we just learned that William has five horses and a pig. So I guess I'm wondering what is something about you that maybe we don't know that you also bring? Any, any crazy pets or anything? No, I don't bring any pets. I love <laughs> to dance. So y'all gonna see a lot of dancing, you know, pregame, touchdown celebration. I don't I'm in the end zone, I'm getting jiggy. Um, uh, I just play a lot of video games in my free time. So I guess I, I bring my gaming PC to uh, Washington. <laughs> and I gotta ask you, I know you grew up in uh, in Brooklyn. So when your family found out you were coming to Washington, I don't know, are you guys Giants fans? Uh, what what was the thought there? Uh, most of my family is Giants fans. Uh, you know, they was, they was happy, they was excited. Uh, you know, a little bit closer to home, you know, just a three hour ride away. What are you looking forward to most when you uh, join this team and obviously join Terry? Uh, just the guys in the locker room. You know, I just uh, I love being around like a family type group. And, I, and the way they played last year, you know, just showed you how close that locker room is. You know, I'm just excited to go in there, meet a lot of those guys, you know, build bonds, friendships and, you know, everything else. Thanks. Welcome. Hey, Curtis, Nikki Jabala with the Washington Post. Um, I, I know you said you and Terry had kind of talked about sort of this pipe dream of playing alongside each other at, while you were in college. Um, were there ever any discussions once you hit free agency about, you know, you coming to Washington? Did he try to recruit you at all? Uh, you know, he, he throwing his little pitch. He throwing his little pitch. Uh, you know, that's my brother. We close. You know, I know his family. You know my family. Um, but, you know, definitely – Seeing him in Washington definitely um, kind of led me towards making that decision. And your versatility, just, you know, almost positionless. How much is that a point of pride for you um, just to be able to do multiple things on the field? Um, I feel like that's great. You know, I, I feel like that's good for offense coordinator, you know, just to be able to scheme up defenses, do different things, put defenses in positions, you know, that, that they don't want to be in, show them different looks. 
you know, being able to go in the backfield, go outside wide, go in the slot. You know, I feel like that adds a lot of versatility to the offense, you know, and just make things harder on the defense. Hey, Curtis, uh, Ben Standig with The Athletic. Um, you're, I'm curious about your, your production. You played fewer snaps last year than you did the previous year, yet your numbers went way up. And I'm just curious from your perspective, what changed for you to have that type of uh, situation? Um, I was fortunate enough, you know, to, you know, my offense quarter and my quarterback and a lot of my teammates, you know, to well, want to put the ball in my hands. You know, my mindset each and every game, each and every play is, you know, the more plays I make, you know, the, the more they want to go, uh, the team is going to want to give me the ball. So I approach each and every play like it's the last play. You know, my job is to go out there and make plays for the team. You know, I want to win games and I feel like, you know, no matter what team I'm on, I'm a focal part of the offense. And for me to want to do, I got to do my job, you know. So I got to go out there and make plays for the team. A lot's been said about the fact that one of the biggest things you bring is versatility, the ability to play all over the place, slot, backfield, uh, outside. How much is that something you've kind of worked on throughout over your time? And kind of where do you feel you may be the most comfortable out on the field? Um, anything, if anything. Uh, I mean, I work mostly on, you know, just becoming a better receiver. You know, I didn't spend too much of my life playing receiver. You know, running back is pretty much natural to me. Played that my whole life. So, you know, if you put me in the backfield, you don't even have to tell me the reads or anything. You know, just tell me which way I'm going. And, you know, my talents and, you know, just my history of playing running back just kind of takes over. Um, you know, I just want to go forward and to become a better receiver, you know, working each and every day on things I'm not great at, you know, and trying to become great at that. Thank you. Hey, Curtis, John Kahn, ESPN. Where are you different? Where, Ron Rivera had you just a couple of years ago, but – do you feel you're a much different player than from when they even had you? Uh, I, I for sure feel like I'm a much better player, you know, a much mature player. Um, uh, you know, I, I think things, is, you know, it's, it's, pretty, it's going to be the same, but a little bit different. You know, um, I feel like, you know, I'm going to have more opportunities in this offense and I'm excited for it. And as a receiver, what's been the thing that you've focused on the most and what's been the hardest thing to get used to in that transition? It's, um, you know, my main thing was coming in, you know, last year off the season I had before, just, you know, just catching a thousand balls, you know, catching a bunch of passes, just catching at different angles, uh, different positions, put my body in wear movements, putting things in front of my face, you know, so I can't see, you know, um, just just trying to do di uh, different things, you know, to adjust to playing wide receiver. You know, I feel like that helped uh, pretty much going into the season that I had. Thanks, Curtis. Hey, Curtis, uh, J.P. Finley, I, I wanted to ask you, a, a lot gets made about, hey, will a receiver want to come to Washington with some uncertainty at the quarterback position? But you know Kyle and, and Taylor from your time in Carolina, and, and now Fitzpatrick has, has signed here. Was that a consideration or a concern at all, the, the no clear-cut starter at QB? Uh, no, I'm not concerned about that. You know, I just do my job, honestly. Um, I'm excited for the quarterbacks we have you know, in an organ, uh, organization. Um, but my thing is to go out there, you know, I have to make it easier on them. That's my job. You know, I can't evaluate who they are and how they play. You know, my job is to make it easier on them. You know, get open, um, try to get as much separation as I can to make the throw easier for them. And then what's it like getting back into Scott Turner's offense now that you're a more refined, a, a more versatile, a, a better player? Oh, it's going to be exciting. You know, I'm looking to stretch the field, you know, um, just do a lot of those things. Just, you know, just be a a, a great piece in this offense, you know, uh, help, help this offense just go forward. Thank you. Um, with Terry McLaurin, he wasn't as highly touted, I guess, coming out of college, you know, third round draft pick. A lot of people saw him as a special teams guy. What, what's it been like? seeing him emerge as, a, as an NFL star and, and a guy who I would imagine you thought pretty highly of. Uh, ben. Um, I mean, I, other people might have had uncertainty, you know, about his career. I knew what Terry could do. You know, I've been with him in college. I've seen what he did at practice. I, it was a no-brainer. I knew I knew exactly what he's going to do when he got to the NFL. You know, he's a thousand-yard receiver without a doubt. You know, it's just when you get the more opportunities you get, the more you have to show. Um, you know, he's a great receiver. He's a great football player. Um, I wasn't surprised. You know, his growth is going to be even, you know, even more exciting to watch. So we, we know him as a refined NFL player. What, what was he like as a freshman in the dorms? 
Uh, you know, Terry, he was funny. I, Terry ain't gonna tell y'all, but I really told him how to dance. You know, he came in with not, not as much swag dancing, but you know, I helped him out a little bit. That's awesome. Hey, uh, hey Curtis, it's Matt Paris from the Washington Times. Um, just, you know, for months, when, you know, all these lists get made, free agency work, guys got to go. Curtis Samuel to Washington was pretty obvious, but when in your mind was it obvious to you that you were going to sign here? Like, when did the thought first come up in your mind? And then, like, when did it become really evident, all right, this is where I want to go? Um, I mean, I, I thought about it happening. But, you know, um, just talking to my agent, just figuring out different things, uh, you know, that's, a, that's just a, a decision I came to. Um, you know, I'm excited to be here. Uh, the offense, I, I, I know the offense, you know, it's probably little nicks and wrinkles that I got to catch up on. But, you know, just, just stepping into a system and an offense that I pretty much uh, know a lot about, you know, feels good for me. And you're very fast. Terry's very fast. Antonio Gibson is pretty fast. What can all that speed do for an offense? Uh, it scares a lot of defenses, you know, uh, you know, Terry being fast, me being fast, you know, uh, receivers, you know, a lot of defenses want to play back, you know, having a, a versatile running back, you know, it's unlimited amount of things we can do. You know, Terry can carry the ball. I can, you know, Gibson could. It's just so many different things that we can do in the offense. Hey, Curtis, Raina Walker with The Athletic. Welcome to Washington, D.C. Uh, just in terms of playing with a quarterback, one of the things that Ryan Fitzpatrick said is he's going to give guys a chance for you as a you know wide receiver who can get down the field pretty fast. What does that do for you when you know you have a guy that's willing to put the ball up to you, especially in those one-on-one -on -one situations? And like you said, with having a Terry McLaurin or Antonio Gibson kind of taking some of the pressure off, what does it do having a guy that will sling the ball around? Uh, I, I feel like he puts a lot of trust in me. You know, um, you know a quarterback saying that, you know, he 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 knows that he have a a great guy receiver. You know he knows what we what we capable of what we could do. Um, so you know I could just you know I got to make those plays when he give us the opportunity. And when you were looking at your market, what were some of the things that you were looking for in the teams that you were considering? And obviously not necessarily the teams themselves, but just what was it like? What was your interest at this free agency period? I pretty much going into an offense that could utilize my skill set. You know. Um, not many teams have versatile guys that could run the ball, catch the ball, do a lot of things. I just want to go into a system where I know, um, you know, somebody can utilize everything I do on the field. Thank you, Curtis. Appreciate it. And welcome again. Thank you. Hey, Curtis. Sam Fortier with the Washington Post. Uh, I think you played in the slot maybe twice as much last year as you did the year before. And I'm kind of wondering, you know, what that experience was like. And, and maybe if you like the slot or you like being outside or in the backfield, kind of what's that like? Um. Pretty much don't matter where you put me. I'm going to go out there and make plays. Uh, you know, being in a slot is different from being outside because, you know, you got a little bit more wiggle room. You could be a little bit more patient. Uh, but, you know, it, it it doesn't really matter to me. I'm excited, you know, for this offense and where we're going to go. And you said you're bringing your gaming computer to D.C. What uh, what do you get on there? I play Call of Duty. I, be, I stream, too. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll check it out. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, Curtis, maybe I'll see you in the promenade one day. We can drop in there together and uh, go to work. But um, when it comes to seeing Ron Rivera again, I mean, we hear all the time about the culture he's instilled in Washington. But as someone who experienced it in Carolina, what is that culture like to you? How would you define it? Oh, it was great. You know, um, just being a player, you know, that <clears throat> was a part of his, his, uh, his organization before, you know, being in Carolina, you know, just coming to Washington you know, pretty much just, you know, reiterate the things that he said, you know, um, try to get younger guys on board. I'm young myself, but, you know, other younger guys, uh, rookies, you know, first year, second year players, um, you know, on board with his, uh, with his philosophies. Hey, Curtis, um, uh, congratulations, obviously, on the deal. Can you talk about, um, I guess, the difference between Scott Turner's offense, which, you know, of course, you were part of uh, in Carolina before they all left and what you were a part of last year. And, you know, Sam just asked you about the versatility, but uh, I guess the differences and maybe what you like about Scott Turner's offense. Um, You know, just really utilizing speed, Um, you know, great offense, great offense with Scott had and, you know, Joe Brady had. Um, You know, I just I'm, I'm just excited to, you know, stretch the field a little bit more. Uh, 
you know, try to create those big touchdown opportunities that I know I, that I know I can do, and um, you know, get the offense off the field quick. All right, last one, Les Carpenter. Yeah, hey Curtis, Les Carpenter, Washington Post. Um, you had that game here last year. Uh, did it almost feel, you know, because you probably had thought a little bit about playing here. Did you kind of, was it sort of a point where you could kind of imagine what it could be like here, one for you? And then also, is that a little bit of an audition when you know that there's a team that's probably going to be interested in you and, you know, you can you can light it up a little bit? Uh, I pretty much last year, I wasn't even thinking about that. I just had, I feel like I had so much momentum. You know, I feel like I was coming into my own, you know, just being a player that I know I could be. Um, you know, I was I was just I was excited to see my growth. You know, I just wanted to keep on keep on showing it week in and week out, no matter what week it is, what the situation is like in the playoffs. You know, I just want to become a better player. You know, that's my main thing is how can I better myself? Because for me to become a better player, the team would become better. You know, so um, I really didn't think about like auditioning. I just wanted to, uh, you know, go out there and win.